Welcome guys to our hub identification class. Today we are studying a very important remedial agency and uh, we know that there are many ways of practicing the healing art but there is only one way that heaven approves. The natural remedies that do not debilitate the system and tax are the agencies, the sure remedies that God has given us in nature. Exercise, cleanliness, proper, uh, proper nutrition or proper diet, and uh, soft and clean water purity of life and sweet premises and divine trust in the power of God are the sure remedies that God has given unto us. And we have to know that many people are dying today because of uh, not using these simple remedies that are at the reach of everyone, including the poor and the rich and is able to restore and rejuvenate the system. With that in mind, we go to our presentation today where we tackle the next natural remedy, which is Kigelia Africana, commonly known as sausage tree. This hub is very important for hormonal balancing. We live in a world that people are suffering from hormonal imbalance, more so women because of the artificial air that they put that are having a lot of toxins and improved estrogen levels in the system. And uh, also the use of deodorants that has chemicals like paraben that, that imbalances the hormones, the use of cutex, the use of, uh, of the manicure and pedicure chemicals that, um, uh, that allowed, uh, that actually make the endocrine system to be hampered and affected. Uh, and today, many ladies are also having a problem with the perfumes and the lotions that we have in the market. Who knows that this may cause a lot of hormonal imbalance. And also watching of uh, the, the movies and uh, soap operas that make tunes our system to overproduce the dopamine and also cortisone levels that make sure that your steroid levels are very high and hence your hormonal balance uh, is not in order. And this hormonal balance has caused a lot of problems in men and women. In women, it causes the PCOS, the polycystic uh, ovarian cyst, and uh, uh, the fibroids, the cervical cancer, the urinary tract infection, the uh, problem of uh, uh, breast cancer and the cyst in the breast, the mood swings, and uh, also heavy bleedings, menstrual bleeding at the end of the month, and painful cramps, and uh, also not going for menses for a long time. In men, it causes a lot of problem of, uh, of having the dehydrotestosterone levels, which will create a problem with your prostate glands. And some of the male problems are as a result of their wives that have been attached to the, uh, to the things of the world or the chemicals that have, uh, really bring a problem in the system. And this has brought a lot of problems in the family, promiscuity and uh, lasciviousness, lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. Ladies leave their do not cover themselves. And do you know that not covering your extremities, I mean the extremities is uh, your legs, and if you constantly put a cloth that is, uh, uh, that is very short, uh, the blood circulation will be hampered, and your pelvic region will be having uh, inflammation. Your, ovary, your ovaries and the fallopian tubes will not be working up, uh, normally. And another thing uh, that breaks the reproductive health of the women is using of tight cloth that presses their, uh, their breast and that make them not to have free circulation of, 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 of hair and of blood also. 
and sometimes it causes cyst and mastitis, inflammation of the mammary glands and the, the breast uh, mass at a, as a whole. It is because of putting even the, uh, the bras that have uh, nylon in them and that concentrates a lot of heat and this controls, this imbalances the hormones. Um, now, if we have the imbalance of the hormone, what should we do? We have the Kigelia Africana, and these are very important hub for us that we can, uh, we can actually use in order to restore the system. I believe it is a common plant that you have seen in your locality. It is called the white oak in some areas. And uh, the bark, the leaves, the, uh, the fruit is very helpful. We use both the bark and the fruits when they are dried and, and, and used as tea. Or you can use them just fresh the way they are and drink them in to help you restore your system. But most of the times it is needed when it is dry. And now it is used for treating skin ailments, boils, fungal infection, eczema, psoriasis, and ringworms. That is the bark. The bark is used for, for, for those areas. You may, uh, you may make the tea out of it or make a salve made out of it uh, or make a liniment that you can apply on your, on your skin. And uh, it is used for internal ailments such as tapeworm dysentery, diabetes, malaria, hemorrhaging, toothache, pneumonia, and also as a purgative. It means it cleanses your gut and cleanses your blood. The fruit is used as a wash or drink for young children. And uh, most of those children that are having measles, it is very useful in that. You make a fruit decoction and then wash the children with and give a teaspoon of it and also to boost iron. The fruit is known to boost iron. If someone is having low iron or content or having folic acid problem or anemia, sickle cell, or even the folic or frolic anemia or ironic anemia, uh, this is a fruit yeah, that you need to, to take in to boost your iron content. It, the dried root bark is used for treating uterus cancer and alimentary tract cancer in women. Uh, basically, I have uh, recommended it for women with good results. Those who, are, who cannot give birth because of the pickles or the ovarian cysts or the ovaries that are not fully uh, releasing the follicle-stimulating hormone to enable the luteinizing hormone uh, during uh, to be produced during the the, the mid of their the middle of their cycle that uh, that is to produce luteinizing hormone uh, not really to produce but to work the the follicle stimulating hormone help the follicles that will release the egg during the ovulation day to to be effective but for the for the bursting of the follicles to happen you need to have luteinizing hormone and so uh, Kigelia Africana helps you to balance that process it balances the estrogen and the progesterone levels also the bark is used as a cure of this for decency dysentery and rheumatism any problem with your knees any problem with your bones it is able to help you restore you just need to take a back decoction or uh, make a seventh power made from the bark and then take it in. It is used for the hormonal balance in general terms. In Tanzania, bark is used for treating swelling of the breast. And fruit decoction is used as an aid for oedema of legs and elephantiasis in Cote d'Ivoire. In Central Africa, unripe fruit is used as a dressing for rheumatism and syphilis. It means it's a powerful venereal disease. Uh, uh, not reliever, not disease. And women apply cosmetic preparation of Kigelia Africana fruit for a blemish-free complexion. You can use the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the powder, mix it with either blackstrap molasses, and then smear it on your, on your, on your face, and it is able to wash uh, any, any, 
any fat deposit there depending on your complexion and also the the, you, you, the type of skin that you you have is use the green fruit as a poultice for rheumatism and syphilis and apply the poultice made from leaf for treating back ache you apply the poultice on the back where there is pain you apply the poultice on the on the on the knee to ease in the problems of rheumatism and uh, for toothache, decoction made from bark is used for gargling in Zimbabwe. To treat epilepsy, wash the head with bark infusion. Why? Because it is a very strong anodine, uh, anodine uh, herb. The, it, it also relaxes the neurons and the nerves within your, your facial uh, region. Leaves are used or for treating stomach ache kidney ailments, dysentery, and hood in Western Africa. It is, they use the fruit for treating acne, that is a skin disease. Remember what we said about skin diseases, that they stem from a, a putrefied uh, gastric, uh, not gastric, but the gut system, the GIT, gaso is, uh, ga gasointestinal tract system. The bark is used for dysentery and rheumatism in gold course. You use the strong decoction made of it. Another tremendous herb from God and uh, also known as white oak in some areas is a great cleanser of the body, the bark, that is. Uh, it uh, has very strong estrogen properties. It means if you use a, if you use, um, uh, a doche, that is you make a strong decoction and use a syringe uh, and insert it through the anal tract, it is able to strengthen uh, to to tighten the, the cells and the tissues around those areas. It increases lymphatic flow and helps reduce swollen lymph nodes. A powerful cleanser of tissue used for mouthwashes, poultices, doches, enemas, and abscesses. Used as a doche for infection and a typical cell formation. And strengthen cells or cellular proliferation. It means that it makes the cells to grow. It means you can use it for wounds. If you are washing the wounds and then apply it later on, it is very good for that. It's super for internal or external hemorrhages. Has diuretic properties that increases urine flow. Kills and expels small worms like pinworms. Used to eliminate gallstone and especially kidney stones. You just take the tea, a cup of it, a cup of the the back tea, uh, three times a day. It is not very bitter. It is very mild for your system. Helps clean and strengthen the GI tract. Excellent for prolapse condition, including intestinal, uterus, bladder, vascular system. Are uh, used in all mouth and gum condition. It has a powerful effect upon tooth, enamel, and bone strength. So that is about uh, this important herb that we have in nature. It typically grows mostly in Africa and South America. And it will be helpful for you to relieve the system from, uh, from these uh, problems that uh, the body has. And now, brethren, you remember that our body can work for itself the body is able to regenerate itself if it is given the right uh the right items or the right food that help it to restore it has to be detoxified by the food that you eat it has to be alkalized with the foods you eat it has to be rebuilt by the food you eat it has to be regenerated by the foods that you give remember the procedure for restoring a dead a dying body is Number one, eating a lot of uh, green leafy vegetables and, 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 and fruits and exercising, uh, drinking a lot of water. You must also eliminate, help the elimination, eliminating channels to eliminate waste. Open your kidney, open your skin, open your colon. Use the laxatives or colonics to make sure that your colon is moving well. Uh, do a skin a skin brushing procedure using the Epsom salt or or brushing using the salt, any salt, regular salt or sand, and then you wash yourself to make sure that the pores are able to eliminate 
uh, very well. You have to do the, 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 the liver flush. And to do the liver flush, you can use it. You can use tamarind tea in the morning. You use four inch tamarind fruit, uh, fruit uh, tea. And then follow with a, a tablespoon of uh, olive oil. And then wait for two hours and then take food. Or be drinking three lemons in the first day. The second day, drink, uh, sorry, five lemons in the first day. The second day, 10 lemons. The third day, 15 lemons. The fourth day, 20 lemons. On the fifth, uh, this, 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 the fifth day, 25 lemons. The sixth day, 25 lemons. The seventh day, 20 lemons. Eighth day, 15 lemons. Ninth day, five, uh, 10 lemons. And on the 10th day, you have one lemon. In each of those, each day, after taking the juice, you follow with a, uh, one tablespoon of the olive oil to flush out your liver and strengthen your liver. That is a simple liver detox or take what, do what is called coffee enema. Four tablespoons of the coffee powder, boil in one liter of water for five minutes and then allow it to cool, sieve it, put it in an enema bag and do a high enema. That is one meter high. And insert the after lubricating the, uh, the, the the nozzle, you will have to insert it through the the rectal uh, system, and then retain that for as much as you could. It washes and regenerates your your liver. Uh, the lymphatic system needs to be moving by exercise and also doing the massage and drinking herbs like plantain and uh, using hot foot baths to make sure that uh, the septic system, that is the, the lymphatic system, is able to be regenerated. With all that in mind, I believe that you now understand how to deal with your hormonal imbalance as well as trusting in divine power to make sure that your system is working according to God's will.